what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Mav Attack. EI, hit it! Mm. Oh man, that sound right there. The PlayStation 1 brings a tear to my eye. This was a system that defined my childhood. Of course, there was the N64, which you may or may not see a video on in the future, but the PS1 was the king in my household. Not only was a game library massive, but it was doing things in gaming that nobody else were. The PlayStation 1 turned 20 not too long ago, so this video is long overdue, but to celebrate it turning 20, here are my top 10 PlayStation 1 games in no particular order. So without further ado, enjoy. Harappa the Rapper. Punch. Parappa the Rapper is a rhythm game that stars you as Parappa the Rapper, a dog, in his quest to get the girl of his dreams, Sunny. While on this adventure, you go through six stages consisting of different songs and teachers, all helping you get closer to your main goal. This was one of my all-time favorite PlayStation 1 games. There was just a certain charm to the fun art direction and well put together songs in Parappa the Rapper. I still, to this day, quote Parappa. Check out this Grand Theft Auto clip if you don't believe me. <laughs> So, I gotta believe! Crash Bandicoot 3 Crash Bandicoot is a 3D platforming game that takes you on a wild adventure as Crash, a bandicoot set out to stop the evil villain, Dr. Cortex. Y'all already have them feels, I know you do. Crash Bandicoot 1 and 2 are amazing, but 3 was really my most memorable game and had the biggest highlight to me. Each world or warp zone had different levels that once you beat them all and the zone boss, you gain a new power for Crash to use on his adventure. From riding a motorcycle through running through medieval themed levels, playing as Crash's sister Coco, I'm in love with the Coco, and those dreaded underwater levels. Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped was a magical adventure that will have you warping through time, fighting baddies, and hoping to save the world and eat all of them freshest Wumpa fruits. Nah, I'm saying? Legend of Dragoon. Okay, this decision was tough. I played The Legend of Ligaia way more than I did The Legend of Dragoon, but Dragoon was a much better game, so Dragoon won it for me. An RPG adventure game, you star as Dart, who's heading home from a long journey to avenge his parents and birth city. On his way home from accomplishing his mission, he's attacked by a dragon and saved by a heroine named Rose. Lots of adventure, random encounters, and the ability to transform into a dragoon. This RPG was easily one of the best on the PlayStation 1. Sikoden. Sikoden is one of those hidden gen kind of games. It's an RPG like many others, but it's gameplay, story, and mechanics make it one that really stood out to me that I played religiously. The main character, the hero, is the son of a great general, and through a chain of random events, the hero is forced to create a liberation army to destroy the empire his dad once worked in. This is RPG mixed with Pokemon Pocket Monster collecting. You work on saving, paying off, and earning the trust of various friends to help you build your army. There's a total of 108 characters, 108 characters that can join you in either helping you fight or working towards upgrading and helping in your base. It's an amazing game and one that's worth going back and playing through again and again to see if you can collect all 108 teammates. Silent Hill. What is this place? Silent Hill has always been the perfect mix of psychological and physical horror blended together to ensure that once you shut the game off, you still fear what you just experienced. <sighs> Silent Hill is where it all started and created a whole new genre of horror. Something different than what we've seen in games from Resident Evil and Dino Crisis. See, you star as Harry Mason searching for his missing adoptive daughter in the town of Silent Hill, and this is where the nightmare ultimately begins. Welcome to the town of Silent Hill. Metal Gear Solid. The game that started it all. Not the first in the Metal Gear series, but the one that made Hideo Kojima a genius 
and pushed forward tactical espionage and stealth games. This is the one game that, if you haven't played this as a gamer, I'm sorry, but I cannot consider you a true gamer. Metal Gear Solid follows Solid Snake, a soldier who infiltrates a nuclear weapons facility to destroy the terrorist threat from Foxhound, a renegade special forces unit. This game is just a masterpiece. Oddworld, Apes Odyssey. This game was really difficult to me as a child. I remember my mom and I would play this game for hours and hours. I used to legitimately feel bad for Abe. There were funny moments, scary, scary moments, very sad moments, and exciting moments. Basically, Abe's Odyssey is a platforming adventure game where you play as Abe, a Mutacon slave at Rapture Farm's meat processing factory. When he discovers that he and his fellow Mutacons are to be slaughtered, he decides to escape and liberate as many enslaved Mutacons as he possibly can. This game spawned many spin-offs including the launch title for the Xbox original, Munch's Odyssey, and Stranger's Wrath, and is one of my favorite platforming games of all time. Fighting. Fighting Force. Surprisingly enough, Fighting Force made it onto my list because not only is it one of my favorite brawlers of all time, but the option to take different paths and find different weapons and secrets makes this game an amazing 3D brawling game for the PlayStation 1. You can pick between four different characters. There's Hawk, Smasher, Mace, and Alana, and you can also play co-op with a friend on screen at the same exact time. The game was originally devised by Core Design as Streets of Rage 4, to be published by Sega exclusively for the Sega Saturn. Sega pulled the Streets of Rage name during development after a disagreement with Core about porting it to rival formats. So Fighting Force is like what Sleeping Dogs is to the true crime series, a continuation without the same name. And oh boy, it's a fantastic game. Tekken 3. Tekken is, to this day, my favorite arcade fighting game of all time. I started on Tekken 2 where my favorite character was June, and once the third one came out, it was love at first sight. Sporting a large character lineup, in his first iteration of the short adventure side game Tekken Force, yeah, yeah, mm, mm. Tekken 3 had full movies for each character. <laughs> Tekken 3 had full movies for each character at the end of arcade mode. Tekken Force and Tekken Ball, which is kind of like the equivalency to beach volleyball. Overall, I still consider this game to be the best Tekken game to date, and even though 2 is my personal favorite, Tekken 3 is still by far the best. Especially because you can play as that little dude Gong. And just, he was the best, man. He could fart, bl breathe fire. Oh, man. He... Tomb Raider 2. Lastly, Tomb Raider was my childhood. This 3D action adventure platformer was both difficult and extremely fun to play at its time. The story was interesting and featured a very menacing antagonist, and the gameplay was smooth for its time and allowed you to do a lot acrobatically as Laura Croft. Exploring your mansion, running the obstacle course, trapping your annoying butler in the freezer, if y'all remember doing that, and finding the mansion's various secrets. This game was just epic, and thinking back on it, I get all types of feelings, man. <sighs> so you may be wondering where your favorite PlayStation 1 games are on this list, and while it was my own personal list, this was probably one of the hardest lists I've ever had to compile. There are just way too many good PlayStation 1 games, seriously. This, this sucks, so brace yourself for my list of honorable mentions because these games are on here whether it be because of their story, gameplay, or simply the nostalgic reason. So let's do it. Bust a Groove 2, Final Fantasy 8, Einhander, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, The Heart of Darkness, Bushido Blade, Fear Effect, Incredible Crisis, Mega Man Legends, and Monkey Magic. Oh my goodness. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mav Attack. Please let me know what your top favorite PlayStation 1 games are. And please, all of you guys, stay radical. And with all that being said, I will see you all on the next episode of Mav Attack. Muff.